welcome to my youtube channel and this is ajit kumar and in this video we will talk about azure deallocated and stop state which which are uh, basically we are getting the option in the for the virtual machine so first go with the uh, stop state so suppose you are logged into an operating system of any of the virtual machine and you can run a command to shut down the server then this will kick you out from the operating system and st stop all the processes okay but you, you can also able to see you will be able to see uh, that vm is in a stop state uh, after you uh, the shutdown uh, from that os end you can be able to see here from the status stop but you are still being charged for that hour for these instances okay and the second option is called deallocated state so the in the deallocated de state either uh, you can you can use the azure portal or console or like uh, powershell or a cli to stop the vm from the azure portal and it, it will be stop all the processes along with the uh, the uh, means uh, whatever the public ip that got uh, uh, non static public ips will be released and you will not be being be uh, you will not have to pay for that vm compute charges so this is the benefit of that uh, uh, this is the differences in between the stopped and deallocated de state let's go to the azure portal and check so this is my vm where uh, i'm running my windows server and uh, it's currently running i will be go ahead and trying to rtp this that vm and after that i will try to shut down from the osn which is our first task and we'll see the status in the azure portal So this is my VM and I will go ahead and uh, shut down this one. Uh, either, either, either we, 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 we go ahead uh, here from and I'm going to shut down this one. So it's currently shut down properly. Let me go ahead a portal and refresh this page and we'll check the status so as you can see the st uh, status got stopped state so in this case you will be charged for this compute including the public ip and whatever the resources got assigned for this virtual machine okay and the second option is deallocated state so in this deallocated state whether we can use the powershell or cli or from the console itself we can go ahead and shut down the vm manually so here you can see we are getting and still getting an option the vm is in a stop state but still we are getting option for stop okay that means our uh, all the resources still uh, so some of that uh, component is uh, charging means uh, is 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 on way so i i will go ahead and stop from the portal and after that we'll check the status wait for some time as this uh, so as you can see it's having the uh, it's is in the deallocating means so after that you can see able to uh, here it's having the deallocated along with the stop and uh, we are not uh, getting any option pop out here to stop this one other than start only so in this case we will not get any charges for this compute so this is the benefit and this is the differences in between the deallocated and the stop state of any of the virtual machine. 
so hope this video is really helpful to you please like my video and subscribe my channel thank you so much